Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. Whether to just use... Uh, I will use the normal grass. Um, actually, no, let's let's do a dirt track around the outside edge, shall we? Uh, if I do successfully meet my target for this game, I think we should be allowed a bonus. And I'm thinking that that bonus for the next Hardcore series should be that we are allowed to... See, down here I don't actually need to be doing this. I think the bonus should be that we're allowed to have the mod that makes um, fences... Well, it makes landscaping free of charge. I think that's what I think we should... Like, if we have a punishment for not meeting the target for the series, which is going to be a huge loan... I think the bonus for actually doing it, so we get a reward for good behaviour, uh, I think that should be that we get to use a free landscaping mod. So we don't have to pay for making our new farm. Because if we're going to no man's land, like everything there is, is going to cost money. Like we're going to want to build an entire farm from scratch. And I got plans and so on, and I'm thinking, you know, we'd want tracks and stuff like that put around, which could be really cool. But if I'm going to go doing that, I'm going to need, you know, it's going to cost money. So if we have a mod available to us, that means that we don't have to go paying money for doing the landscaping work. And there's also the mod available that lets you put uh, any fences as well. Fences are free of charge. You can, uh, you can put shrubs and plants down and you can put fences down and you can do it all free of charge. Now, I would state that as a proviso for being able to use such a powerful mod, um, we definitely would not be allowed to profit from any trees that we put in. So if we add trees using the mod to just put down a full-grown tree, we can't do that and then cut the tree down and sell it for money. Like that, that would go completely against the whole spirit of the series, and so that definitely wouldn't happen. But I do like the idea of being able to do the landscaping for free, because it's going to open up a lot more options for landscaping, isn't it? Like, we, we, we'd have so many more choices if we were able to do that. I'm just carefully coming around the edge here, and... Finish that bit. See, this doesn't cost a huge amount of money doing just the, the painting like this. Um, it's some of the other landscaping costs can get a little bit prohibitive. But it would only it's only the one for the fences. There, there's a mod that allows fences to be free, and I think that there is a mod that allows you to have uh, landscaping costs done for free rather than having to pay for those as well. And those are the two that I would want to have. So any landscaping, so smoothing, uh, raising stuff up, putting, like, painting in roads and things like that, maybe putting edges to roads, so I'm raising and lowering and smoothing and leveling and things like that. All of that I would get to do completely free of charge, which means that I would have a lot more options available to me. I'd be, I'd be able to have... Um, do quite a bit more with it and that is something that I'd really like I think that would be really cool but that because it's such a big thing I would have to make meet the target of this series which is get that in however many episodes you all suggest I should be doing it in so I've got to remember that I, I got to kind of focus and this bit up here is to get chicken so maybe as a secondary achievement on this series i have to have the chickens and i have to have them being paid for as well as having the sheep as well so i'm focusing at the moment on getting the chickens we've got the sheep growing in the background but i'm also getting chickens now so maybe i've got to produce a set number of eggs as well as do the sheep in order to earn my um ability to have free landscaping so if i don't want to have a loan on the next map I've got to get the, the sheep thing, the tailoring thing. That's, that's the main objective. As a secondary objective, in order to be able to earn the ability to not... I'm going to stop doing this now. Um, secondary objective, in order to be able to earn the right to not pay for landscaping costs, I have to produce X amount of eggs before I finish the series. 
Um, that's my suggestions. Get in the comment section again and tell me what you think. What, what, what are your views on this matter? I realise that your views could be vastly different to mine. You may think that I'm just spouting nonsense and you don't like this idea at all. We will see. I will leave it up to you now. Right, I'm going to just spin. Actually, what I am going to do is I'm going to stop a minute. I'm going to have a drink. That's better. That is much, much better. So I will just hook this one on a minute. That one in there, like that. And unhitch the pallet forks. And then I can back up here and get that weight on the back. Like that. And then I can go over here and I can get my log fork. Oops, steady. Right, I've got this bit. So we can go and start loading these logs onto this trailer up here. And then once we've done that, we can get, uh, we can hook the plow back on and we can carry on doing the plowing. At least that's the plan. And we've got the edge of the field marked out here as well with a bit of a track. I might actually turn this into a proper track that goes all the way around the outside of it at some point. I don't know yet. I have no idea what I'm going to do just yet. So uh, let's... Now, I've used this one a bit already. It does... It's, it's not quite as good as I thought it might be. It does seem to do a bit of the, that whole sort of weird bouncy bouncy bit. Um, but I don't know what other loaders are like because I haven't done any other timber work and this is the only log grab that I've used. But it does seem to shake around an awful lot like that, which is not really a good thing. We don't want it doing that. Right. I have also noticed that it's difficult to get this lined up exactly. There we go. At least we've got space in the middle here. Right, the other thing that I want to do a minute is go to that one. And shove that one back that way. And then that one on the top there. Bring it over that way. It's danced along a bit. So in order to stop it dancing along, I'm just going to put some straps. Well, a strap around the middle there. And that should stop any future dancing. We don't want dancing. And I will come down here and we will start working on the next one. I took it round the top that time, the, the, the last time, and I wouldn't normally do that because loader work, you want to be approaching from the lower side of the hill. So I wouldn't normally have done that, but uh, I didn't think that I had room to get round the logs that were here, which is why I did it that way. So there's my explanation for doing things back front. But we have got room in here so I can pick these up now. And let's get that one there. Right, this one... Actually, this log grab doesn't seem too bad. It does seem to be able to pick them off the ground reasonably well. That's usually the biggest challenge, is getting the things picked up off the ground without causing too many problems. But this grab, that does actually seem to be working fairly well. Over here. Let's try just moving that camera to the side a little bit more. Uh, just move down here. I wonder if I'll be able to get all of this into one load. I would like to be able to do all of this in one load. Because then we can take it to the sawmill tip it out there and sell it uh, well we don't tip it we just sell it direct off the trailer they unload it for us and then that means I'd be able to drive from there directly back to the dealership sell this trailer and we'll have also gotten all the money for these logs and then I can uh, immediately buy the stump grinder which is the vital ingredient that we need oops just gonna go that way there we go that's the, vi the the stump grinder is the rather vital bit that we're going to need in order to be able to um, make the last of this field right here. So it's, it's quite crucial that we're able to get that stump grinder. So I'm hoping that we have the money for it. Uh, on it goes. There we go. I 
think I've got one more log in the ground there that I'm going to need to pick up. You here. Right, if I... Fortunately, there's no spike right in the middle, so this, this trailer is ideally suited to front loader work. Because the front loader doesn't have the kind of reach that you can get with a um, a wheel loader or a telescopic handler. So this trailer is ideally suited to the small wood producer who's doing everything with a tractor and front loader. Perfectly suited for it, actually. Got here. I suppose I could have that other tractor working on the plow right now, but I'm not going to worry about that because the, the plowing, like we, we've done most, the plowing's already mostly finished. So we can set this tractor here that we're using right now, going on the plowing once again once we've done this, and then the other tractor will be heading off down the mountain to go and sell. We'll, we'll be driving it down the mountain to go and sell, and we'll be doing a few other bits as well. So, um,. By the time we finish doing all of our messing around, the ploughing job will be finished. And notably, there are no stones in the field. There are no stones there in the field. But there is stone there. I did notice that there was a bit of stone came up there. But that's the only place where I've noticed any stone come up. Uh, throughout this entire field, that's the only place where stone has come up. And stone is an option. It's in options in here. Uh, it's not in that one. It's in this one. Days, snow is on, crop destruction on. I got everything on. Field stone, lime, weeds, all of it. Uh, everything on here, but there's no stone up here in the mountains. Which I really like. It means that we don't have to worry about doing a stone picking. And I'm quite happy with that. Yes, you know, it would be interesting to have to do the stone picking, but I'm not going to complain if we don't need to do it. Right? Because it is an extra expense, it's extra time, and it does take quite a while to do it. If I can get away with not having to do it, fantastic. I'm, I'm all for it. So it looks like we can... Oh, wait a minute. Busy saying that. I can see stone in the middle of the field up there. So maybe there's just not very much, or maybe I'm too far away for it to have actually come in. But there is there's a bit of stone there, and there's a bit of stone there. Actually, what? There isn't a lot here, is there? If I was to use a stone thing on this field, it's... there's another way. We can have a look in here. Look. Turn off the needs plowing bit. There, I got one stone, I got a couple bits down there, and I got two bits just there. That's it. That's the only stones in this field. That's amazing. I like this. I like this a lot. I need to... They're going to dance in a minute. We're, we're going to have problems with this lot dancing around in a minute. So I'm going to put a strap over the top of those there so that they don't move. Game physics being what they are uh, is asking for trouble. But that is a beautiful trailer full of wood right there. We're going to make a fortune out of this. Now, do I have any other logs? There is a log in the long grass. There's a problem with the long grass. You can't see anything in it, can you? But we have got one log right there in the long grass. And then we've got two more logs down over there. Let's go and deal with. So it's that one. It's a smaller log right there. And don't think we've got any more. I know that we got the wedges from the wood, but those will disappear with the stump grinder. The stump grinder is fantastic for getting rid of those wedges, so we're not going to need to worry about them. They are a bit of a nuisance, but we really are not going to need to be concerning ourselves about them. What is concerning me is that this log won't come off. Basically, they stick to the grab. And then you can't do anything with them. So let's just bring that in a little bit. There. See? It's not supposed to stick like that. It's not supposed to be that difficult to have the, the log fall off of the thingy-majiggy here. 
thingy majiggy is the, the technical term. Oh, these are two, isn't it? Yeah, we, we, we cut this one in half because I thought it was going to be too big for just one. And I'm kind of glad I did because this is a very heavy piece of timber right here. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to pick it up. Look at that. Right, that's right down on there. That is a serious chunk of timber right there. That is a serious chunk of timber. That is a... Big, how, how heavy is that? 1.3 tons. I love this thing that tells you the mass of the timber. Like that, that is absolutely... I don't know if that's a mod that I've got or if... Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy. Easy, tiger. What are you doing? You don't want to be doing things like that. And that one will drop down there, just hanging on to the... Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. There's a lot of weight on that trailer. I don't know how much there is. Um, there is a mod, if you put the straps on, uh, it will then tell you how much weight you've got as far as timber goes on your trailer. But I don't think I got that one because it was quite intrusive. It was one that took, it takes up a lot of space on the screen. So I didn't really like it. So I'm not going to be able to tell you exactly how much we've got in here. It's a bit of a shame. I'd like to, I'd like to know. I'd like to find out just how much I've got on here. Okay. I'm going to just put that one down there a second. Because what I want to do is I just want to drive around. Drive, walk around. I don't think we've got any more bits of timber lying around here anywhere. Here, we've got all the small ones. I picked up all the ones that could be done by hand. I think that's it. So now, if I go onto this trailer right here... Right. It doesn't tell me what the overall weight is. I don't have the ability to find out the overall weight. I can look at the individual ones. 700 kilos there. 732. 300. Uh, 800. 1.3 tons. 500. 800. Uh... Right, that one there is 700. This one down here is 700. Four. I reckon we've probably got... That's 1.3, it's two, so then three. I reckon we've probably got about six tons of wood on there. That would be my guess, is roughly six tons of wood on that machine, on that trailer right now. Six tons, which is not bad. That's, that's not a bad amount, really. I, th I think that's quite impressive. Now, in order to speed things along, it's coming up to 5 o'clock. So, really, we... I mean, it's getting late. We're going to want to think about stopping for the day. So, I think what we'll do is we won't carry on ploughing at the moment. So, I'm just going to drive this one down over here. And then we're going to jump back to the John Deere. So actually wondering about taking it off and selling it now. But, no, I won't do that either. We're going to skip the night. We're going to skip the night now. Although it's August. It's only quarter past four. Uh, qu a quarter to five, rather. Quarter past four. It's quarter to five in August. And yeah, I am keeping the time going on the five times speed. I kind of like this. Um, if, you know, we're, we're finding it difficult to um, get a job done, I'm I'm not setting that, that one in stone like I have done in previous series. Um, I'll just kind of like wing it as we go and but generally I'll put it on times five so we we've got a, a, a bit more of a goal for finishing things up uh, let me switch over to that one because I want to change this round I want this one to go back on the front so that then I can go back up and get that plow on uh, five o'clock do we want to stop at five in the middle of August on a farm probably not to be honest probably not so we will continue our work I will go up here and I'll hook this plow on and then we will start moving but by the time I get up there and hook the plow on I'll be showing you some brand new mods right 
I got some new mods and done some updates. Unfortunately, though, I've lost this shed. I had that nice little shed right here, but when I tried to update it, it didn't update and it kept crashing my game. That mod. I don't know why, whether it's conflicting with something else. I'm not really sure. I tried um, removing it and putting it back in again, but it just wouldn't load from the mod page, and I'm not quite sure why. So we currently don't have the shed here, and... I mean, I got a load of other stuff and other mods and that, so we're just going to have to do a little bit of make-believe. You need to pretend the shed is still here. That's what we're going to do. So it's over the area that the gravel is on, so we can just sort of say the shed is still here and everything is tickety-boo. So that's what we're going to do. Now, apparently the reason that the roller didn't work on here was... Oh, and by the way, it could be a little bit laggy seeming uh, while we're starting out because with the update, the textures have sort of re been redone. So they're having to reload everything from scratch in the um, file, which means that as it loads new areas, I'm getting little bits of lag. So it might be a bit laggy in this episode, but hopefully that won't last very long. Now, um, there was a bug on this map that stopped roll grass rollers from working. So in theory, the grass roller should be working now. So we're going to test that first. Now that we've got the beautiful 1.3 update all installed. And we're going to see if the roller does actually roll. And it does. It works. It's beautiful. It's perfect. It's wonderful. It's amazing. It does everything that it's supposed to do. So we do have a roller that actually works, which is fan schmastic news. That is absolutely awesome. Uh, it is 1726 on August the 1st. So what I think that we're going to do is we're going to leave that one there. And we're going to walk back down over here. I'm going to check the greenhouses a minute. I don't know if they've been affected by anything with the updates. Uh, oh, while we're doing this, have a look. See, I got there's a new little weight HUD thing at the bottom. In the bottom right-hand corner, at the very bottom of the screen underneath the speedo, it's got 5.6 tons, total 9.6 tons. Uh, it now gives us an estimated weight on our trailers and stuff. So I'm going to try taking the straps off the trailer. Okay, that doesn't actually change anything. So I don't think that it's counting the logs. I think it's just counting everything else. But we now have a little... It's, it's only... It's, it, I like those little subtle ones. You get some HUDs that sort of take up three quarters of the screen. I can't stand those. I really don't. I like the little subtle ones. They're just just a, a little tiny bit underneath. And you, you don't have to worry about anything else. So both of these are completely full. I've got two pallets of tomatoes extra. And on here, strawberries at 6,000 litres means that we've got another 12 pallets of strawberries hidden in there. And let me go in here. The strawberries one. Oh, we've, we've got plenty of storage space in there for them. Now, we've only got our little sec trailer at the moment, the SEK trailer. And I would like to get a different one. Now, there is another set of trailers that have auto load. And you can get one like that, which has auto load, which is actually about the same size as that one. Unfortunately, though, the pattern that they load the pallets in is a lot more limited. You you put two one pallet on each side, but they, they don't face sort of... You, you don't have one going from here over to here. You have them going long ways, so they go from there down to there somewhere. And there's a lot less pallets going on a trailer. I'm quite disappointed with the way that they've laid those out on that... Well, on, on that version of the trailer. But there may be others that we can use. Um, We'll worry about that some other time. I'm not going to worry about it now. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to sleep the night. I know it's quite early to be sleeping the night. It only half past. Um, but we don't really have much else to do. And we, well, we're, we're doing the plowing. We're removing the trees. When did we want to get the grain planted? We want, it's wheat that we, we want to plant wheat. I can't remember when I said I wanted to plant this wheat. So let's, let's go and check this out, shall we? Uh, wheat... Yeah, we're not even ready to start planting it yet. That's September and October that we want to be doing that. And then the harvest of the stuff is in July in a year's time. So we'll leave that there. This is for the chickens. We're going to plant this field up for the chickens. And we can always do a bit more grass somewhere else. 
later on for getting some more silage, something like that, if that's what we want to do. I'm not entirely sure if we're going to do that yet. But what I'm going to do now that it is morning time, I'm ignoring everything else, ignoring the sheep. I haven't even checked them properly. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump on here. So tractor 5.2 tons, which is the one selected. And then total is the weight of the tractor plus the front weight on it as well. And that's saying 6.2 tons. So the weight is one ton. So then I add this on now and we've got 5.2 total 7.2. Okay, I don't get that. I thought it was the bit that was selected that was the bit that wasn't in brackets. I'm not entirely sure. I'm, uh, it, it works. That's, that's the important thing. It, it works. Now, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to start the hired help going along there. Hopefully, it will still be all okay. I'm assuming that the missions now no longer give ridiculously overpriced rewards for the uh, for some of the different missions that are available um, like the grass missions and things like that uh, they, they were giving wildly excessive amounts but what we are going to do is we're going to make our way slowly down the mountain with this one and we are going to sell these logs now I'm hoping that this tractor is able to make its way down the mountain without having an accident. This may be asking a lot of it. Because there is a lot of weight on this load. There is a lot of weight on that load. So I really don't know if we're going to be able to do this safely. I'm hoping that we can. Really, really hoping that we can. We've got a car following us. It's not the ones following us I'm concerned about. It's the ones coming up the hill. But if we can make this a safe trip, that would be absolutely fantastic. We can sell all of these logs. And then we can uh, bring all of that money back. And we can do something with it. We're going to need to get the stump grinder. I don't actually remember. It's been a little while. I've had things on, so I wasn't able to record. I had to leave recording of this for a little bit. Um, I'm hoping that we will be able to get the stump grinder if we haven't got it already. I honestly don't remember if we got the stump grinder yet. And then we can clear those stumps out of the way. And we're not going to need it again, so we will sell it straight back again after we've done whatever work we need to do with it. And then the next step will be purchasing a seed drill and seed so that we can get the wheat planted. We Ideally, we would want a stone picker, but we don't have the luxury of being able to do that. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.